Here's my complete guide on how to do the brand new Ghost of the Deep Dungeon. Like today's video if it ends up helping you or your fire team out. First, you need to pick up the dungeon quest called Rise at Hawthorne from the tower and then start the dungeon by launching it at the helm. When you spawn in, get on your sparrow and follow the route until you find the ritual site with a bunch of statues. Shouldn't be too hard to find as the entire area is just one big biodome. Approach the statues and the encounter will begin. To beat the encounter, you need to dunk Vestige of Light powers into the hive statues. Here's how to do that. Look around for a big yellow bar ogre and kill it and you'll get the message the way forward is revealed. Look for a green goo trail on the ground and follow it until you find a big glowing rune or symbol, whatever you want to call it. Same symbols we've seen in the past before. Remember that rune as that'll be where you'll need to dunk the vestige once you're back at the statues later. Keep killing the hive and following the goo until you find either a light bearer, knight, or wizard and kill it. Whoever crushes the hive's ghost will obtain the vestige power for about one minute. Bring that power back back to the statues. When there, kill the yellow bar Veil Weaver Wizard to get Deep Sight, which lets you see which statue has the correct rune on it. Dunk the power into the correct statue, and then rinse and repeat until the opening encounter is over. The next encounter is a super long jumping puzzle, no boss. Believe me when I tell you, you are going to do a lot of running and a lot of dropping down into very deep water. The path forward, for the most part, is relatively straightforward. If you're lost at any point, odds are that the best way forward is to find another way to keep going down. Here's one kind of tricky part though, when you get to this area, jump through the hole in the wire mesh wall. When you're on the other side of the hole, hug the wall on the right, then turn right and jump into this hole in the wall. Then as mentioned, continue dropping down. Try to share air bubbles with your teammates if you need to, otherwise a teammate might drown and fall behind. Eventually you're going to drop down so far, you're going to get to a hive structure that resembles the hive dreadnought. Keep doing guardian parkour until you reach an underwater area with a hive named Ekthar. Find the green air airflow and jump into it to get blown up out of the water and begin the next encounter. Okay, second encounter. Your goal is to kill the boss, Ekthar, a loosened hive. You'll need to drop Ekthar's shields in order to damage him. Here's how to do that. Run around the room killing hive. You'll need to kill three blistered knights in order to summon one big ogre called a Keeper of the Deep. When the ogre is dead, you'll see text on your HUD that says drown in the deep and a deep side orb will also appear near where you spawned into the room. Have one person on your team activate the deep side orb and then look on the wall nearby. You're looking for three glowing symbols that you will need to memorize. When you have the symbols in your head, dive down into one of the water pools into the floor to swim beneath the area. Ekthar will dive down to chase you, so don't stop moving, even when you're underwater. You're looking for green runes underwater which will appear in the walls. I don't have a map for this yet, but it's a very small area. Just keep running around underwater until you find the three correct symbols and then activate them one at a time. You'll see text on your HUD that says the runes a line that is your cue to find the green air vent and jump back up out of the water. When you're back on dry land, find the loosened hive, kill it, and squish the ghost to gain the vestige power. Dunk that vestige power into three hive statues located at the top of the room that will spawn a well keeper knight near where you spawned in. Kill that knight and stand in the green goo pile it leaves on the floor, which will now allow you to de shield and damage the boss. I recommend close range weapons for this encounter, like swords or hard hitting shotguns like the Legend of Acrius. Rinse and repeat until the boss is dead. Important! When the boss is dead, you need to squish their ghost. I haven't seen what happens if you don't because we panicked and squished it, but it's entirely possible that Bungie is pulling a Lamau moment and the boss will come back to life and f*** that noise. Squish their ghost to end the fight. Okay, next encounter. When the boss you killed is dead, go back underwater and look for a newly opened up area with a water wall that you can walk through. Follow the air bubbles and continue through the dreadnought through another jumping puzzle. Puzzle. Drop down and now you're in the final encounter. This one is going to be tricky, but bear with me. There is one main room and three different side rooms which you can access through a water wall. In the main room, you will find multiple body parts of Oryx who the Hive are attempting to revive. Your goal is to kill the Necromancer who is the final boss. At Oryx's body parts, there will be large green circles on the floor that will only appear when you approach and stand on them. Here's what to do. First, to activate the deep sight power when it appears, and it will appear. Doing that that will reveal a large green triangle in the air, showing you which three body parts you'll need to activate in order to reach the damage phase. Stand in one of the green circles at any point of the green triangle and look for a knight mini boss with a lot of health. You need to kill the knight while standing in the large green 
circle. When you've done that, you now need to look for a tiny green circle, which will appear in the air in between whichever body part you just activated and a different body part in the triangle. You need to go to the tiny green circle and look through it so that it matches up visually with the small auric symbol. And when you do that, a large hive rune will now appear over the body part that you activated. Now do that two more times. And remember, if you forget where the green triangle points are, you can simply reactivate Deep Sight. Make sure you're standing in the large green circle of one of the triangle points before killing the mini boss knight. Visually line up the small circle with the auric symbol and do this until there is one large hive rune appearing above each point of the triangle. Now that you have all three symbols, have your team split up into one of the water wall doors located all around the boss room. Again, there are three side rooms branching off from the main open boss area. Six water doors, but again, only three side rooms. Two of all the water wall doors will lead to the one same side room. There are two water walls by his head, two by his right hand down by the bottom of the map, and two by Oryx's left hand. Each guardian on your team split up and go into one side room each. Kill the hive there, including the Lucent Hive mini boss, and squish their ghost. Take note of the symbol that appears above the Lucent Hive before you squish their ghost. When the ghost is squished, you now have the vestige power. Take that power back to the main room with Oryx's remains. Find the symbol that appeared before you killed the Lucent Hive, go over to that symbol, and dunk the vestige power into that symbol. Deep Sight needs to be activated before you can dunk the vestige power. And when all three symbols of the green triangle have been dunked with the vestige power, you can now stand in any goo pile at any symbol where you've dunked, and now you can de-shield and damage the boss. When the boss's shields are gone, you no longer need to stand in the goo pile and can damage her while free roaming. Rinse and repeat until she is dead. Warning, just like before, she will have a ghost that you need to squish in order to end the fight officially. And that's the dungeon. Sub to my channel if you're new, much appreciated, and share with a teammate who might be stuck. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on stream.